Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Guide YouTube channel. Today we're going to be exploring Kennel Vale Woods. Located between Redruth and Ben Rin, Kennel Vale is a lovely wooded valley with fascinating remnants of its industrial past. Unlike most of Cornwall, where this would mean mining, these woodlands were home to something much more exciting, a gunpowder factory. These days the woods are a nature reserve, but the banks of the River Kennel are lined with the old granite ruins. As with many of Cornwall's most beautiful spots, Kennel Vale has both natural appeal and industrial heritage. Today the valley is as peaceful a place as you could imagine, with the only sound is the rushing of the water and birdsong. A hundred years ago things were very different, as this was the site of the Kennel Vale Gunpowder Company. Whilst it might seem strange to locate a gunpowder factory in woodland in the middle of nowhere, the site was carefully chosen. The first flowing river kennel provided a source of power as it cascades down the valley. This was diverted into leaks, which in turn powered water wheels. Of course, steam power, with its need to burn coal, would not have been a good idea in a gunpowder mill. There were other reasons the site was chosen. Not only were the gunpowder mills set in woodland, but the company actually planted many of the trees. These were positioned between the various mill buildings so as to help absorb any potential explosion. The process of making gunpowder was quite complex, partly owing to the potentially huge dangers involved. A large part of making gunpowder was taking the three key ingredients, saltpetre, charcoal and sulphur, and grinding them down to a fine powder. Simple as it sounds, there were about ten steps involved in the process, all of which were carried out in different buildings. In total, there are around 50 separate buildings in the Kennel Vale operation, quite a few of which still remain, although these are slowly being taken over by nature. The remaining include the Corning House, Mixing House, Packing House, Change House and most notably several of the incorporating rooms. The mills were built for safety, they had incredibly thick walls with very light roofs, the idea being an explosion would be forced upwards rather than all around. Bearings of the machinery were made of copper, not steel, so as to reduce the amount of heat produced, and the workers even wore special woolen suits. But even with all these safety precautions in place, accidents did happen. One such accident happened in May 1838, when five mills blew up one after another. Reports from the time say that part of one roof was found a mile away. Amazingly, only one person was killed. In another explosion a few years later, a worker by the name of John Martin was literally blown apart. His head was found around a quarter of a mile away, and his other body parts were strewn across the site. Thankfully those days are long gone and the valley has been returned to nature. 
Today, everything is carpeted in a layer of green moss, with ferns and trees having taken up root within many of the old mills. The site is managed by the Cornwall Wildlife Trust and is a haven for woodland life. The Kennel Vale Nature Reserve is home to some unusual and rare species, such as the Greater Horseshoe Bat. It is also one of the best places to spot dippers and kingfishers in Cornwall.